Hey everyone, this is a short video on the chemical tests you can conduct for aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. If you haven't watched the video on aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids, I recommend watching that one before this video. Similar to alcohols, the dichromate oxidation test can also be used to distinguish between an aldehyde and ketone. This is because an aldehyde can be further oxidized by this reagent to produce a carboxylic acid. As you can see at the bottom here, propanol is oxidized to produce propanoic acid. And in contrast, the ketone cannot be oxidized as it is the final product of oxidation. Therefore, when we add acidified dichromate, which is originally orange in color, to an aldehyde, it will be reduced to chromium ions, which are green color. So the solution turns green in the presence of an aldehyde. In contrast, if the same reagent is added to a ketone, it will remain orange as a ketone cannot be further oxidized. This test is a very simple and useful one, but it can only be conducted if we have excluded the possibility of an alcohol in the solution. And this is because alcohols, for example, primary and secondary alcohols can also be oxidized and therefore give you a false positive result. Similarly, an acidified solution of permanganate ion can also be used as a reagent. In this case, when added to an aldehyde, the purple color of permanganate decolorizes, while it remains purple in the presence of ketone, as there's no oxidation reaction. Chemical tests for identifying a carboxylic acid are mainly associated with its acidic properties. The go-to chemical test is reaction with a carbonate or hydrogen carbonate as this reaction produces carbon dioxide that results in the formation of bubbling in a test tube. This test is very specific to organic acids and therefore does not work with any other functional group we'll be learning in the module. Now, the formation of this gas, carbon dioxide, can be further verified by bubbling it in lime water, which is calcium oxide. This is called the lime water test. Carbon dioxide, when reacted with calcium oxide, produces calcium carbonate, which is a precipitate, and therefore it makes the solution very turbid and milky. A second option to identify carboxylic acid is simply using blue lemons paper and dipping the paper into the solution containing the acid. If a carboxylic acid is present, it will turn the blue paper red due to its acidic property. And again, this result will not be positive for other functional groups we'll be learning in this module. So it is very specific for carboxylic acid. 